All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for joining our today's uh, Intro to Novo uh, webinar. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Merlin, and I'm a Strategic Portfolio Manager here at Kenna Metal. And what I'd like to do today for you is just go over for the next five minutes or so and give you a little background on what Novo is and, and the, the entire Novo program here at, at Kenna Metal. And then after I get done with that, I would love, I, I'm going to give you a little preview of what's coming. And then finally, we'll get into what you have probably all have dialed in for most is the uh, demonstration on using the free PC um, and iPad versions of, of, of the application. So uh, sit back, relax. I've got everybody on mute. Uh, once I get done uh, with the first 15, 20 minutes of the presentation, I will open it up for questions. And we'll try to get you out of here in about 30 minutes. So uh, what you see here on the screen is, is a slide that is, has been shared at, at our corporate level and to, and to, um, to uh, the, the investment community. And it's really, why is Kenamel investing in, in Novo? Why, why um, change the way the work gets, gets done? On the left, you see um, the industrial market megatrends, uh, which are affecting us and, and our customers, which are translated into some pretty... Um, simple but, but definite needs um, for, for the industrial uh, marketplace. And Novo is a program funded at our, at our board level. It's a strategic program by Kenametal designed to um, deliver the right expertise in the right way uh, to the right place in, in the production um, chain and to deliver productivity. So um, it's really touching on um, an overall mega trend. You might have heard of GE's Internet of Things, but Novo is our entry ticket uh, into this environment. If you think about what has happened in our market over the last 20 or 30 years, we've seen everything from the rise of the tape machine to the CNC and there on in our personal and uh, professional lives, more digital, more automated, and more connected. And what we see the next 10 years is really what we call the era of smart. Of so it's it's integrating this this digital factory to work smarter and more productive productively, which is the key in the next 10 years. And Novo is Kenamental's ticket into that environment. So um, what we've what we envision in the first phase here is how to bring Kenametal's 30 or 40 or 75 years, if you will, of application knowledge around cutting tools into uh, upfront in the manufacturing process. So we, we know that typically um, customers only spend about 3% of their, of their total cost of goods sold, uh, sold on cutting tools. However, we all know that do, choosing and applying the right um, cutting tools can yield tremendous uh, productivity as, as proven by our field tests and, and tool pr performance reports. So our, our thought was why couldn't we deliver this process up front in the chain? How, how could we get our application knowledge and, and selection knowledge and cutting tool knowledge up into the process planning area or the CAD CAM or, or engineering departments? And that's really the goal um, of the first step of Novo, beginning with the PC application and um, delivering our digital knowledge into the shop ecosystems. So what you what you see um, what what this slide what this slide shows is how you can achieve productivity by doing that. So what you see on the left is a typical parts takeoff, and the challenge for everyone, um, of course, is to uh, come up with a machining strategy, programming. And to do this, you have to go through a series of tooling selection, plus get all the data and application engine, application parameters mm -hmm. into your uh, machining environment. Now, just in this area alone, the free PC application um, can save you a tremendous amount of time. We, our, this was done by an in, internal Kenametal team. So you think about Kenametal sales folks. So some of the best cutting tool guys that that, that I know certainly have the, the knowledge and expertise in this area. They estimated to do that parts takeoff to come up with the cutting tool recommendations and the application parameters without Novo would have taken a four-man team about two full days, so 64 man hours. That would not that would have been very uh, manual and data entry intensive, uh, no models, 
or spare parts would have been um, had, had provided at that point. And um, there still wouldn't have been the data and the, ele the electronic data and models to program the part. By using the new um, Novo PC application, the team was able to deliver a solution in about one afternoon with four guys, so 16 hours. Um, they had the latest, most productive technology included all the models, all the spare parts, uh, all the application parameters. And the so the customer has Kenamel's recommendation on the most productive tools, plus all of their all of the data and models they need to to, to program that part. So this is just a real life example, one area in process planning where just one step, picking the tools, it was uh, about a 75% uh, savings in, in, in time. And that's real time. That, that translates to engineering capacity, either on the Kenamel side or our customer side, and we all know um, the technical shortage on the market today. So as I said, the free PC application that we're uh, demonstrating today, we launched the EMO, is just the very first step in this process. Um, Kenamel spent about 10 years digitizing their knowledge, if you will, um, and, and creating standard processes to deliver it by the cloud. So we've launched this free PC application that anybody can download. Of course, we just launched the uh, tablet this week, uh, you might have seen. So the, the, the demonstration training I'm giving you today is for the tablet or the PC. It's the same environment. And the next step is really how do you get this knowledge into the native environment? How do you get it into CAM, into tool management? And by, by Kenamel's approach by digitizing their knowledge into Novo, into a cloud-based system, will allow that. So I, I, caught, I, I ask you to keep your, keep your hats on for spring 2014. And then really what we're building up to is, is what they call Industry 4.0. It's um, process optimization, machine efficiency, augmented reality. And this is all enabled by having seamless, easy delivery of cutting tool data and, and, and parameters. Because the, the digital factory, the digital machine shop, um, needs uh, data, up-to-date data and models and information on the cutting tools to, to run optimally. So um, I'm going to show you the PC uh, tablet version now, give you a little demo of what you can do with it. But I, I promise you, this is just the very first step in what's going to be an exciting uh, development in our industry and, 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 and certainly for Kenna Metal. So now I'm going to switch over to the PC application. Uh, it's the same environment on the tablet. I'm, uh, uh, this, is, this is run by the, by the um, it's powered by the machining cloud you see there. And the machining cloud is a, is a, is a company whose um, primary focus is delivering data and knowledge um, to the machining world uh, digitally. So we've partnered with a best-in-class um, company who knows what they're doing, a lot of experience in this area, um, and, and they've been a great partner for us. So when you log into the application, the first thing you'll notice is that it recognizes it's me. And the reason that it does recognize this is because I've set up what they call a machining cloud profile. And it's just my name and, a, and an email and, and a, of course, a password. And the purpose of this is to identify me uniquely. And, and why I would want to do this is because as I build my list of tools, um, isn't it nice for me to build it on my desktop and access it from my tablet? Um, so so I, anywhere I go, when I log into the cloud, I have all my, my jobs, if you will, which are really tool lists, and it identifies it uniquely uh, this is also a huge time saver in, in using existing tool lists as templates because we all know we, we uh, do similar uh, uh, jobs all the time where you don't want to necessarily start from scratch. And it allows me to share the jobs um, with my colleagues or, or with my network uh, for collaboration. So um, you can use, uh, I should mention before I, before I get into this, you can use this application for free as a search or, or advising functionality without uh, registering for, for uh, Cloud ID. Um, you can simply use it as, a, as our website or electronic uh, catalog substitute. But the real power of this uh, comes in the job management, in the job functionality, which allows you to build tool assemblies, save them, uh, download models. So, so you know, again, just a name and an email, and this gives you all the access to the power of the job functionality. So I have my list of jobs that I've, I've, I've built over the last uh, six months demonstrating this on, on the Novo Roadshow. And it kind of walks me through uh, what I'd call a typical, uh, no, uh, typical use case. So a typical use case is 
I'm a process planner. I use that word generically. I'm, I'm an engineer. I'm a guy working in a CAD CAM department, and I've got this I've got this part on on my desk here. So, so in this job, it allows you to set up a job right up front. Um, it allows you to to put a picture. This is just a picture from my desktop, a, a representation of the part. It allows me to put some notes in here, name the job, of course, which is very handy. Come in, it will come in handy for, for later for storage. And it allows me to select the, the workpiece material, which I'm, I'm working with here. So I can select at a very high level on the ISO group. I can dive a little deeper into the Kenna Perfect machinability system, which is a great system, but as, as you know, these systems tend to vary from catalog from customer to cu uh, from, com from catalog to catalog, competitor to competitor. And, and they're not uh, completely intuitive. Or I can just search at the standards level, AISI. I'm looking for um, I'm looking for a 1040 steel. So we've designed it uh, similar to a Google search. That once you put in part of the parameter, it's going to auto fill into what it thinks is the next closest. So 1040 and Kenamel's machinability system is in our P2 group. So I hit OK. And now this is already speeding my selection because. Um, every job I every tool I search for in this job is going to be the tools that are designed to work in this P2 group. So again, I'm going to work on this use case. Is I'm going to work on this part, and I need to make this hole here at the bottom right hand side of the piece. So I'm going to use what they call the advisor, and this will be I know what feature I want to make. Help me with a tooling uh, strategy and sequence uh, to do it. So I hit on on, on the advisor. And it's going to ask me at a high level um, what what whole uh, task it is. It's a whole making task. And now it starts to give me into some templates which look very familiar uh, to me. In this case, it's a simple through hole. And the and this requires only three pieces of information to give me the optimal, the most productive solution from the Kenamel standard portfolio. And it's filled in one of them for me already. P2. It, you know, it's stored throughout the job because typically a work piece is only made of one workpiece material. So in this case, it's P2. Uh, you, can, you can do your work in intrametric. I'm going to stay in metric. Uh, I'm going to specify, of course, we may need to make a hole. We need to know it's, what's the diameter. So it's um, uh, nine, 9 millimeters plus 3 minus 0. And the overall depth of the hole, of course, it needs to know, and it's 50 millimeters. Now, that's all it needs to give the most productive solution, but it does give me the option to give it additional information. So I'm going to tell it about the um, eight degree angle on the entry face, and it allows me to um, customize its output. So I might tell it that I only want metric or inch tools, or that I only want solid or indexable. In this case, I'm going to run it wide open. What's the best tool, inch or metric, solid or indexable? So I hit continue, and it goes into uh, the machining strategy selection. So what we found in talking to process planners is typically this is <coughs> based on experience and tribal knowledge, so they'll always go with the, the strategy that's comfortable to them, which is not a bad way to go. Um, Novo actually allows you to, ex to explore different strategies. Um, in this case, most people would take the, the hole drilling strategy, but it does make me aware that you could use uh, a standard end mill to make this hole. So again, I'm going to go with the, dr the hole drilling strategy. And now it's going through, this is where the magic's happening. Now it's going through 55,000 standard Kenna Metal tools, plus a powerful knowledge base, a rules base, if you will, around what is the most productive and um, most cost-effective way to make that hole. And because it's fed from the cloud, you always have Kenna Metal's latest technology, or if there's um, product that's being um, obsolete because of life cycle management, it, it goes out of here. So, you know, the key to delivering knowledge and data is it's got to be up up to date. And by delivering it via the machining cloud, um, this is something that really separates Novo um, uh, from a lot of the other solutions on the market. So, um, if you notice, it's recommended a Ken tip, which you can imagine on an eight times D uh, nine millimeter drill, a modular drill is going to be uh, pretty pretty cost effective compared to a solid carbide. But it doesn't just recommend the drill I need to make the hole. It recognized I have some challenging preconditions from the material, so from the uh, information I gave it. So remember when I told it it had an eight degree angle on the face? Now it said, well, uh, you, you know, first of all, you have a long L to D hole, so you better pre-center drill that hole. So it's giving me the one and a half 
uh, times D drill to do that. And it said, oh, you have an eight degree angle on the face of that drill, on the face of that, um, that you, you need to mill it. There's a rule that you need to mill a flat on anything um, uh, larger than five degree to, to, to drill into it. So that's, that's some of the knowledge and I call um, footnotes. That, that might be somewhere in our catalog back on page 438 in a small footnote. But Novo has recognized these preconditions and has recommended a, the most productive tooling sequence uh, to make that solution. In addition, Novo, so this is the most productive. It allows me to also look at alternative choices. Maybe I want to use a solid carbide drill so I could go down and check out a solid carbide drill. Maybe it's one I have in stock. I can compare it to the metal removal rates, so on and so forth. So it, it, it gives me the most productive solution, let's say unbiased from the Kenamel standard portfolio, but it also allows me to alter my solution on any three of the steps. So now I have this this solution, and this is where the job functionality comes in. So I, I add these tools to a job because I think it's a great solution. I want to use it. I want to remember it next. Add it to the job, and now comes the case where I want to I want to program these, um, and I want to use it on on the feature. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the the end mill that is, that is provided for me. I'm gonna open that up in my tool list, and now I want to. Um, now I want to add that to, I want to adapt that to my, um, to my machine. So once I pick on the tool I want to adapt, it goes into the, the tool configurator. The tool configurator is all of KenML's standard tools mapped to fits with and works with convention. So by that I mean that there are things that fit together like a weld and shank and a hydraulic chuck that shouldn't be used together. So it's got that smartness to kind of error-proof for the user, and it speeds their selection up because when you click on the adaptive item, uh, now instead of starting with a thousand-page systems book, it's starting only with the 50 items that work for this. So it's error-proofing and speeding up. You pick your system size. In this case, I'm going to pick uh, I'll pick a KM or I'll pick this KM size here. I could I could easily check if it's in stock at at Kenna Metal uh, might be might be one of the use cases, or I can or I can just add it to my job, and now not only do I know that it fits together and works together and it's the most productive solution from Kenna Metal, but it's also generating for for me as a process planner as a CAD CAM operator actually what I need to program this thing if I decide if we get the job and we decide to use it so generating the 3D assembly. This is a live model. Um, it's heavyweight and lightweight. Download it into uh, step files or lightweight files, and um, this makes it super easy to get into your CAM system or your simulation software like VeriCut. Um, in fact, VeriCut is advertising already on their website how, how this makes it very easy. So that, the use case is I'm a, pro, I'm a CAD CAM guy. I've got a feature to make. I'm not sure what tooling solution to use. I put it in. It gives me the optimal tool recommendations uh, for the for the um, part. I take one of the one of the tools. I make an assembly of it, adapt it to my machine. It also gives me the ability to get feeds and speeds. So when I click on the feeds and speeds uh, button, it'll go into a into a dynamic feed and speed calculator. So you could imagine if you have a larger um, if you have a larger cutting uh, milling cutter, for example, you can play with radial widths of cut to see what kind of horsepower requirements you might have. And when you change this, it's all saved with this tooling assembly with this job. So that's the first use case. Uh, I've, I've showed you I need to make a feature, give me advice, help me adapt it to my machine, help me get my feeds and speeds in my models, and help me save that to my job. So that's a pretty handy uh, thing for a, for a process planner. It also makes it very easy for them to get that data into a system. The second use case I'd like to share with you is um, I don't need your advice on what tool or tooling sequence or machining strategy is, but I want I know what tool I'm looking for to help me find it. So in this case, I search into our electronic catalog. Again, it's already um, it's already drilled down to P2, so it gives me not 55,000, but only items that work with P2. And a typical use case might be I'm looking for a drill. I want it to work in P2, but I also know that I do a lot of stainless and ink and L. So I can, I can stack parameters to refine the drills down. But now I have a drill that guarantees it'll work in my P2 job, and it'll work in steel and stainless steel 
if that comes into my into my shop. I can put the we've digitized all what a tool will do. Uh, so drills drill. I know that's not that exciting, but I also want to make sure it can go through an inclined exit because I know I have I know I have a lot of jobs with that with that situation. So now it's down to that. I give my diameter. Look for a quarter inch drill, perhaps. Uh, look for a quarter inch in here. And now with just filling out three of those uh, fields, it's giving me the three items from the Kenamel 55,000 standard tools that will fit my parameters. So I know what I want the tool to do. I know what I want to look for. Tell me what you got. Now a typical use case might be, okay, you got these three. I need it tomorrow. Let me check. I can check which ones are in stock. Uh, this is live from Kenamel SAP system via the cloud. So, okay, great. This one's in stock. I'm going to add it to my, to my tool list. I'll find my adapter and, um, and, and we'll be ready to go. Um, the final use case that I'd like to share with you as far as finding tools is, is the quick search. So it does also give a, a Boolean or a wildcard search capability. And this is pretty, um, this is pretty um, use case might be find me all the CNMG 432s that you have, wildcard search. Now you could now you could search through all through all them and see which which ones the metal has. Um, you also can put in a material master number. So one helpful use case is I need the feeds and speeds for a particular item. So you type in the material master four five six. Uh, let's see if I can find one four five six two three three. I don't know if that's a the good one or not. But you could if you had the material master in there you could. You could put, find an item, uh, basically add it to your job, and get uh, get the feeds and speeds from from that particular um, material master. So I've showed you I, I've showed you as far as search mechanisms. I showed you I know what feature I want to make, help me make it. I know what tool I'm looking for, help me find it. I have a specific tool I want more information for, help me find that. So those are the three ways you might search and add to a job. Now that you've built your job, I just want to share with you a couple things that you can do here. Uh, one is that you can share the job uh, with your colleague, your local distributor, whoever you, you need uh, to, to collaborate with. And finally, you can download the job into a, a very helpful report. Now the report is, um, let me say it's a, it's a very transportable way to um, get the data out of the system. It's, it's, a, um, it's a, almost an analog way of sharing. You could print out the job report. And it, there's, it's very, very handy because if any of you guys have had tried to copy-paste from an HTML or PDF file into ERP system or CAM system, you'll know that it doesn't really work very well. But with the Excel spreadsheet that I'll show you here in a minute, it's very easy to copy-paste um, into one of those environments. So as it opens up, uh, what you see here is a picture of the part that I embedded. It shows what the workpiece material, who and who made it. Um, in this case, I've, it shows the tool assembly name, the material master, the grade, uh, short description, and then every tool assembly. Every tool assembly has its own um, has its own page. So it shows the the individual parts. It shows the spare parts. Uh, which we know what we, we know what a pain point that can be, the 2D dimensional data, including the weights and the feeds and speeds that we've recommended or saved for that tooling assembly. So this job function and job reporting is very very powerful, very portable, and um, really helps uh, with with collaborating and sharing and working on a job in, in a group. Um, so I'm going to open it up for for any questions or comments. I hope that you guys have learned a little bit about what's behind Novo and uh, where we're going, and I hope you learned a little bit about um, the application itself. And I'm going to go off of mute here, and if there's any questions out there, I'd be glad to take them. Hey, Chris, I was wondering, uh, <laughs> you're breaking up a bit, you're, you're breaking up a bit. Sorry about that. Hey, Chris. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Look like a milling uh, location and a picture uh, tank. 
I'm sorry. We it's really it's really rough. I think you're talking through the phone and the computer. One more time. Sorry about that. Anybody, any, any other questions? All right, Chris, this is Sarah. I tend to use the quick search when I'm doing the Novo stuff yeah. because yeah. I'm not, I mean, you went through that pretty quick. I'm not real familiar with uh, doing the steps that you did and building um, the tool list like you did. I mean, it looks really cool, but... I guess I just need to more practice with it, or is there going to be more advanced training that is a little bit slower uh, that we can learn these processes, or I'm not sure how this is going to work. Well, we we, are, we do have some videos I can share with you, Firo. We're gonna we've recorded this particular um, training session, so we're going to make it available. And, okay. And uh, there also is the same demo I've done out on YouTube. Uh, we did an email on the big screen. So we definitely um, encourage you to use those tools, stop them, pause them, slow them down. And if, if okay. Help, more, more help, let us know. Yeah, then I can do it step by step a little more and become more familiar with it. That, that'll work. Thanks. Good, good. Any other questions out there? Hey Chris. Yes. Hey Paul. For the uh, you know the part that you showed me the surface, but no will know you're using or what if you have a five axis machine, it'll select the tool properly. Maybe it's going to require you to select a uh, a chamfering tool. Hmm recommend a face mill or end mill without tool. So well, that's, a good, that's a good point, Paul. We had to make the we had to make the design in the beginning machine agnostic, if you will. And, you know, mm -hmm. if you remember in the presentation you said the future development, obviously that's the importance of getting more ecosystem in, information into the app and it, into the ecosystem. So that's a good point. I think um I think in the future we, we can address that. In the, in the beginning, we tried to make it machine agnostic. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. I hope you learned a little bit today about our our new program and our new free um, download for your PCs and um, applicate and and tablets. And um, we look forward, we're going to be offering more, more training in the future, more webinars, and uh, we certainly look forward to hearing back from you or having you join another one in the future. So have a great weekend. Thanks, Chris.